Yes, sir. You know I'm good, right? Let's go, biz. Okay, here we're gonna take a look at Sabrina's April 2015 running knee bow. Um, here we're gonna see her running full speed, and uh, here half speed, 50%. And then finally, we're gonna take a look at her 10% speed. Uh, and we're gonna go frame by frame with this breakdown. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the upper or top part of the body and work our way down all the way to her feet and kind of just point out what we see and what we need to correct. The first thing is on her launch, um, you see how her arms get disconnected from her body. You can see how you can see the big gap in between her arm and her and her body. We got to get her arms a little bit more connected so that she can get more power, you know, uh, north to south versus east to west. And you'll see later on as she picks up speed how that really impacts her uh, her form, the way her arms are getting disconnected. Also, she abbreviates her her arm stride, which should go up to her eye. She kind of stops it below the chin, so she's just not getting as much um, momentum with her arms as she really should. I'm gonna stop her a few more steps later and you notice how I told you about her arms getting separated but what happens is when her arms get separated from her body you'll notice how uh, the right arm now is going in front of the body in front of like almost in her chest and what happens is it, it twists the shoulders and it makes her twist her chest out on her torso which basically gets everything out of alignment if you actually look I'm looking at her straight on but if, if you look it actually looks like her body's more turned to the left than it is straight so we just need to get her alignment um, corrected and it starts right away with those arms. We're gonna take her forward a little bit more. Stop about right here, it's a little more than 10 yards. And we're gonna look again, and like I was telling you, her shoulders, it's because of the way her arms are moving, how she's got her right shoulder forward and her left is back. And then on the next stride, she'll be you know, left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. So they're going side to side, front to back. Um, and then her head is moving a lot too, and that's also because of those arms. Uh, if you look at her uh, alignment, it, that, that line should dissect her two eyes and it's just a little bit off on her right eye and it's just showing you that her, she's out of alignment there. And it, it also goes all the way down to her feet if you look at her legs, they're not really straight as well. So we just need to correct all these things. Uh, I definitely think we can do it relatively quickly, especially with the upper body. Uh, lower body, we're going to start working our way down here and you see here how she's striking on her heel. This is one of the main things that's slowing her down too is she should be striking on the ball of her foot and then driving the turf back or the ground back. Instead, she's striking on her heel, so that's uh, it's a very slow move. Um, it's almost like hitting the brakes every time she steps. So there are some things that we can do right away that will help increase her speed. Uh, and obviously, as we get it, her, her form more perfected and we in increase her strength and, and speed and everything, it's going to help even more. Here you can take a look at um, kind of what we're talking about, the way everything should be. Uh, it's just about symmetry and getting everything in the right place. You'll notice here how it takes off, arms are connected to the body, they're going straight forward and straight back, up to his eye, and then driving out. Um, now he's coming out of blocks, but it's, it's very similar motion even if you're not coming out of blocks. Uh, here again, arms connected, hands driving up to the eye, hip to pocket motion with the arms, knee drive is almost exactly horizontal, and uh, striking on the, the ball of the foot as he hits the ground there. Again here, striking on the ball of the foot, arms connected, up to the eye, and you notice everything just looks real smooth and easy. It doesn't look like he's very, running very hard. That's kind of what we want to mimic there. It's just a good form to uh, copy. Uh, vertical leap here, and this is important for us because if we get an athlete that can jump high and jump far, we're going to be able to have that explosive first step that we need. She scored very low on her vertical at, at 8 inches. Um, she needs to be, really honestly, on average, is like 13 or 14, so we've got a long ways to go there. Same thing with this broad jump. Should be about in the fives, and we're in the threes. So just that explosiveness is really not there, and we're gonna we're gonna work on it um, in, in her training, and, and that's gonna help her with her first step and really close on athletes and defenders and offenders on the on the field. Uh, we're gonna look at her last thing here, which is her lateral speed, which is uh, about average to maybe a little bit below average. She scored 13, probably 14 is about average, so she's about five yards off. I'd like to see her get up to about 16 or 17 within the next maybe three or four months. Uh, but this is kind of where we're at right now. So 13 reps, she was able to cover in five yards in 30 seconds. Now we're going to take a look at her overall uh, scores, her baseline. And um, you'll start here with the push-ups, 17, uh, sit-ups 28. Um, her balance was off, so we're going to work on her balance. Lower back strength needs to be improved. And then her 10, 20, 40 times, um, definitely slower than we want. We want to get that 40 time into the sixes uh, and that 10 yard time into the low twos or even high ones right away vertical is eight and then her flexibility is going to be key for her and that's one of the reasons why 
she's not faster is because she's just not very flexible. So we need to continue to work on her flexibility and that's something that she can do at home and that'll help uh, improve her performance um, greatly.